I've been using Google Analytics for a little while now, and to be honest, I find the dashboard quite confusing and how everything is working also to be confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a really basic setup with Webflow and something you might wanna track like a form conversion, and then also just kind of show you how to poke around the analytics dashboard to get a better handle of what's going on. I think a lot of times our clients expect us to have a really deep knowledge of analytics and conversions and all this, but in my opinion, it's like a skill all in and of itself. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Hey there, Webbay. So this is my dashboard for my website at Webbay. Uh, you can see, I just wanted to show you because it actually has some activity. Uh, normally, you know, probably for months, this thing was getting just a handful of users a day. But since I released my course, it's actually been getting a bit more traffic. Anyways, we'll have a look at kind of what these events are, like scrolling and form start and click. And mine should have some purchase events on here. We're not seeing it in the last 48 hours because nobody's bought my course in the last 48 hours. So if you're watching this and you haven't gotten Webflow 201, be sure to go check that out. Anyways, uh, we can also see kind of what pages people are visiting. I am getting a lot of views on 201. Uh, my blog is getting two hits here on how to use TypeScript. My homepage is getting seven hits. Uh, but yeah, I wanna kind of dive deep into Inspector and everything that's going on so you can actually understand here what we're looking at. So I have a blank Webflow project and let me zoom in there. That's too much, that's just enough. So we've got our blank Webflow project and let's say that we have a form on there. Now let's go to webbay.net and we'll go to our components. And I want a form. So this is gonna have a form on it. So let's go ahead and copy that. And back on our Webflow page, we will paste it and publish. Okay, so we have our form, but let's set up Google Analytics. Now back in here, we need to go down to admin and I'm not gonna walk you through the full account creation, but you need to have Gmail, of course, and then go to like analytics.google.com and it'll ask you to start setting stuff up. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is create an account here and we'll call this Webbay Video uh, GA4. Yeah, just something like that. And we can go ahead and check all of these because we're gonna share all of our data with Google. Hopefully they can make better products and we'll go ahead and click next. Uh, the product is already good, so good job, Google. But it's a little bit confusing when I first started using it. Anyways, the property name, we'll just say uh, Webbay Video GA4 Property. Okay, so we've got that. My time zone is good. I wanna use US dollar. And my business details are that I am in computer and electronics, and my business size is small. We're an army of one here at Webbay. All right, let's click next. And okay, choose your business objectives. Let's just go ahead with that. We want to generate leads. I think a lot of, you know, Webflow is used for a lot of marketing sites. And so people have marketing sites to generate leads. You might also check for drive online sales, but here we'll just do generate leads and this is all customizable later. So let's go ahead and create. And yes, I accept, use all of my data. Um, that's fine, I agree, you know it. Uh, okay, so now we need to choose a platform. Let's go ahead and select web. And now I need to enter my website URL. So let's go ahead and find our website URL. Uh, Google Analytics Video .io. I love that one. And we will just drop that right in here and we'll get rid of this. I'll zoom in one more here. And the stream name, this is like the data stream of stuff coming in. Web Bay Video uh, Data Stream. And enhanced measurement is on. So Google Analytics is, is automatically gonna be tracking page views, scrolls, outbound clicks, site search, form interactions. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, video engagement and file downloads. So that's fine. I want all of those and let's create the stream. Okay, so this, uh, this window popped up and then after a second, this window popped up automatically. I don't think I clicked it. You can drop this script into the head section of your page, I believe, or they have some website builders. Fortunately, Webflow is not in here, but that is okay. Webflow does have an integration. So we'll actually, all we need is this, uh, this is our property ID. And if you don't have this installation instructions, you can also get it, your measurement ID uh, right here in your web stream details. And if you're getting this later, just come into, let's see, let's go to, I'm gonna click next actually. Okay, that's great. It's pending. You need to come into admin, select your property settings, and make sure you're selected on the right one. So I'm in my WebBay Video GA4 account, my WebBay GA4 property, and then right here, um, not, not that one. We wanna come down to data streams. And we can click that data stream and now we get our measurement ID. So you're looking for this one with G, G dash. And we'll copy that. And back in Webflow, now we can go to our site settings. 
and we'll come into integrations and your measurement ID goes right here. And we can save this and now we can publish. Okay, and let's pop into Google Analytics and see what it's telling us. I'm gonna refresh here. Uh, we'll cancel out of that. It says no data received in the past 48 hours. That's okay, it's going to be saying that. Let's go to reports and real time and we'll see if we get some data in here. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead to the website and refresh and we'll go back to our real time data here. Okay, so I waited about a minute and then I populated on the dashboard here. You can see we've got one user. This is uh, what my website looked like for a very long time. The Google Analytics was just analyzing me on my own page. And we can see down here in the events, we've got a first visit, uh, we've got a page view, we've got a scroll and we've got a session start. Now, I think it's a good time to like, if you have trouble getting this or you wanna know what's going on. Um, okay, with Inspector open now, if I refresh, we can see we get a whole bunch of stuff. Now it's loading the HTML and the CSS up here. And here is a get request for, where's, where's this one going? Google Tag Manager. And so it's basically getting the, the scripts it needs to do analytics here. And then we can see all this other analytics. We can see our measurement ID, right? Uh, what is kind of going on here? Just some more get requests. And let's see, this collect is, this is the one that's actually collecting and sending our data. So we can see that it's, it's sending a page view down here. We can see by the URL and it's posting it. So that means it's sending it to Google servers. And we've got another one here that is that I scrolled and percent scrolled was 90. So back in the analytics dashboard, I've actually been refreshing the page a couple times, actually six times now, just to get the console how I wanted it to. But we can see I've got some user engagement coming through, some more scroll. The first visit, we've only had one of those because I'm the only visitor, right? And then we also got a form start when I started entering in the form. So it's tracking that I actually started um, typing into that form. Anyways, we've got a couple cool things coming in here. Now, another way that you can view exactly what events are firing is with the debugger. So I'll come, I actually installed this extension. It's called Tag Assistant Companion. And we come into our Tag Assistant Companion. And now we need to add a domain and we want to add our website's URL. So let's go ahead and grab that and we'll paste it here and connect. Okay, and we've got a new window with our Google Analytics coming up here and we can see we have a window that Tag Assistant is connected and on the other page, it says it's connected. If I hit continue, on the left here, I have a bunch of events that are firing in config. We can see we have a page view, Google Analytics hit if we open that, that yes, we are checking out our main page here and then we're getting the DOM ready event fires, the window loaded, scroll depth and scrolls now we can see the, the ones that we care about are these ones that actually populate a hits sent. Um, all these other ones are just basic kind of events that happen automatically. And then this scroll event that seems to be automatically firing at a value of 90%. This is one way to debug what's going on. The very last way I'll mention is that if you come into the admin panel and you have this extension debugger running, and then you come down to debug view, you have this kind of cool timeline of what's going on. So we can see we had the page view and the scroll. And this is just tied to my activity. So I won't be confused by stuff that's going on with other users or anything like that that would be in the main dashboard. Anyways, I think it makes sense right now to track an event of form submissions. Like that's a lead conversion, right? So let's see about doing that in Webflow. And unfortunately, Webflow does some uh, custom requests when they enter the form. If we actually look at the form, uh, up here we have form action, we have the form element, but there's no action here. Typically your basic HTML form has an action which has the URL to send the data to. But Webflow actually redirects and send it to its, its own servers. As a result of that, Google Analytics is not actually gonna track our form submission. So let's go ahead and write test at test.com. You can't see it because I didn't do a good job of updating what the text colors is, but it's there. Now let's go ahead and submit this. And it says, thank you, your submission has been received. And you know, this is actually, I did in the window without the debug assistant connected. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, we'll say this in tag at test.com. So we have essentially two and I'm gonna submit there. And if we come back to our little flow here, we see we got this form start event that happened, but we didn't get any sort of form submission. So unfortunately the Webflow form submission, we can't track. We have to find out another way to do that. And probably the most common way is to redirect to a thank you page. Now you could track 
clicking on the submit button. This doesn't necessarily mean that the form will successfully get submitted, but it's pretty likely, I would imagine. Uh, but the most typical kind of classic way is to just, we'll create, oop, not a new folder, we'll create a new page and we'll call this thank you like that and create. And then let me just drop in something here. Thank you, exclamation point. And we'll just center this because nothing matters. And we'll go back to our homepage. And within our form element here, we'll click the gear icon. And notice it's named email form two. We saw that, we saw that we could get the ID. Here it's saying email three. Um, sometimes as you click through these, they, they rename. Anyways, uh, redirect URL will be slash thank you. And we're going to not change any of this and we'll publish. We'll go to the one that's connected to debugger and refresh. And I'm gonna say redirect at test.com. And we click enter and we get redirected to our thank you page. And now within our tag assistant, we can see, okay, form start was the last thing that happened on this Google Analytics video page. And then within config here, we saw we get our page view and the page view URL now says the slash thank you endpoint. So that's great. And we also got a scroll event on this one. So what we can set up now is within our analytics dashboard, we can go to reports and let's go to real time. And we can see now we're getting this page view at our thank you page. So something we could do is set up a conversion event for when anybody views that thank you page to mark it as a conversion uh, or something good that happened. And then we can run ads and do all this fancy stuff to try to optimize for that user flow or that user journey. And then if we come to event counts here, we see that we have our page view is at nine and this is the one that controls what happened. Um, there is a form submit event, like I said, but we're not gonna get that because of the way Webflow handles form submissions. Now, the other thing to realize is that I just built this, right? And so if I come to report snapshot, we're actually not gonna see really anything. This is the real time over here, but there's no data being populated. And with Google Analytics, you really have to wait 24 to 48 hours to let Google confirm all the events that are happening, and then your dashboard will start to populate. So in the next video, we'll look in the admin panel at how we can come to events here and create events and mark them as conversions so that it's something we can optimize for. Anyways, that's how to get started with Google events and just kind of taking a tour of everything that's going on. We looked at the debugger and all this stuff. I hope that helps uh, you kind of understand and troubleshoot if you're having issues getting this loaded up in Webflow. If that helped, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.